What's well, up, guys? TJ Tech Paradise here. I apologize for being gone for two weeks. Um, unfortunately, I came down with another sickness for the second time in less than a month. Um, this time, I came down with bronchitis. And uh, luckily, I did go to the doctors and got myself some antibiotics. And uh, I am feeling much better now. Um, really hoping that was the last time I get sick, though. Uh, for a long time at least. Um, I really hate being sick. I'm sure most people do, but I really hate it. Um, I'm not one of those people that handles it well. Um, but luckily I am that now, and um, uh, I am that to my normal health. So, with that being said, uh, I do want to thank you guys for being patient with me. Um, but I want to quickly mention a couple Apple things. Just a reminder that in a couple of weeks we are going to be um, having the uh, Spring Keynote. We are going to see um, the new iPhone SE, as I guess it's going to be called. SE or 5SE, whatever. Uh, there's still some conflicting uh, rumors about the design of it. Some case makers in China keep releasing different cases that uh, conflict with the design of one another. So there's no, not even a, a, a solid uh, idea yet of what it's going to look like. It probably will just look like the the iPhone 5S that we know now, but you never know. They could change the design of it. Um, also, we're going to see, of course, the new iPad, which I guess will now be known as the iPad Pro. So, that kind of tells you a lot about what it's going to be and not be. It's not going to be anything dramatically different from the iPad Pro that we see now. Um, so, I wouldn't expect anything like 3D Touch or anything like that. Which is kind of a kind of sad news for me. I was hoping maybe they would use that opportunity to make the iPad, the smaller iPad, something dramatically different or uh, just something, you know, different, but uh, it sounds like it'll just be a smaller iPad Pro, which I guess is still good news because it will have, um, uh, it will have the Apple Pencil support and the Smart Connector and the, uh, the A9X processor, so that's all good news. Um, so that, on top of that, um, we expect to see some updates to the Apple Watch line. Uh, not a new Apple Watch 2, but just some updates to the colors and the band choices, essentially. So that's the Apple news. Um, and, I, and I'll do more tech news as we go through the week. But one thing that I want to also quickly mention, too, I had promised in the past that I would start talking a little bit about politics. Well, if you hate politics, this is the time in the video that you're going to want to uh, cl cl uh, close out. Because I am going to finally talk about politics. Because after Thursday night's GOP debate, we have to discuss it. Now, just to be clear, I, I follow both sides of the aisle, meaning that I watched the, the GOT debates, I watched the Democratic debates, uh, the GOT and the, the Democratic town halls. I really try to follow politics the best I can. Um, I wouldn't call myself a, a, a politics junkie or anything like that, but I do like to follow it and, and be uh, fairly knowledgeable on it. So, I, I'm going to try not, I, I don't want to ramble too much, but I do want to say what the heck happened on Thursday night with the GOP. This is, you know, I have to say first of all that I think Donald Trump has turned the GOP upside down. And that was so evident on Thursday night. Because, first of all, within the first two minutes of the, of the debate, we have Donald Trump making a reference to his manhood, let's just say, which I thought was so odd. Even for Donald Trump, that was odd. And then he had, uh, basically, Ted Cruz and Marco Rubio uh, throwing punches at Donald Trump all night. And Donald Trump, you know, when he's provoked, he then gets 
aggressive. And so he's calling Marco Rubio Little Narco. And then he starts calling Ted Cruz Lying Ted, which I thought was pretty entertaining. And so at a non-serious level, it was so entertaining to watch. But when you take a step back and think, oh wait, these people are actually running for the President of the United States, that's it becomes a little bit almost scary to think. And so I really hope the GOP steps up its game and these candidates really start to realize that they're not making themselves look good and they're not making the party look good. Now, the one exception to that is John Kasich. I have to give John Kasich a lot of credit and credit because He's the only candidate on that stage Thursday night and any other debate for that matter that actually focuses on the issues and I think is the most qualified out of all of them. So I won't I can't say I would vote for him because he's not going to make it. I, I'm a realistic person, I'm not being negative, just realistic. The truth is John Kasich will drop out in the next couple of weeks, I just know it. And that makes me sad because really John Kasich is so qualified and he and he's such a he seems like such a nice guy. Um you could definitely call him a compassionate conservative. Um, and so, I would absolutely vote for John Kasich for president if he was the nominee. But again, obviously he won't be, but um, he definitely deserves the credit and respect for that today. Um, in my opinion, he won. Just by being, uh, like he said, you know, the, the one thing that he said that, the, that could be possibly construed as negative, as he did say that one of his brothers told him that they appreciate him being the only adult on stage. And that really wasn't even negative, but it was the closest thing to taking a swing at his competitors that he did. Now, others will criticize him for that, saying, you know, it makes him look weak and not willing to, uh, not willing to stand up for uh, himself, essentially. But I don't believe that. I think that John Kasich just knows um, how to conduct himself in a professional manner. And so that's my thoughts on, on John Kasich. Now, Donald Trump, and I'll discuss this in another video, but Donald Trump is, like I said earlier, is, is turning the GOP upside down. Um, I'm still not convinced personally whether or not he's truly even a conservative. Um, I'm not much of a conspiracy theorist, but let's just say this. He and, and the Clintons have been friends for years. For years they have been friends. And he supported her even in her 2008 presidential campaign. And now all of a sudden he's a Republican, a conservative, and he's against her. Well, something just doesn't add up. It seems weird to me that the same year that Hillary Clinton is in basically going to be the Democratic nominee for president, unless somehow Bernie Sanders pulls through, but I doubt it. It would be Hillary Clinton. And I really just can't believe that there's no connection between that between Donald Trump running now and turning the GOP upside down um, and Hillary Clinton running. Uh, I'm not, like I said, I'm not a conspiracy theorist, but something just doesn't add up. And I'll discuss that in, a, in another video, but I just think there's something else going on with that. Um, but in terms of uh, Donald Trump, the thing is, he is... He's beyond unconventional. He he is just one of, those, one of those candidates that I think the GOP is going to really regret um, not telling him from the start, no, we don't want you in this, in this party. Because now he's turned the party upside down. Mitt Romney came out yesterday and gave him a scathing speech, basically saying, uh, you know, Trump is basically criticizing Trump at every angle and in, in every aspect. And I thought that was so uh, 
so telling of the, the state of the GOP right now. And uh, it's amazing because Trump actually gets so much support from, from the people. I mean, he keeps winning most of the state so far. The question is, will this momentum continue? Uh, or will the GOP establishment figure out a way to get him out? And, um, you know, personally, this is my last thought on this for, for today. Personally, I can see the GO, uh, I can see Donald Trump winning the GOP nomination. I can't see him ever winning the general election, though. No. I just simply can't. I think that Hillary Clinton absolutely has this one uh, in, in the bag. And I hate to say that, because I'm not a Clinton fan by any means. Um... Uh, but I'm a realistic guy and I just I know it's going to happen so win the nomination and if it comes down to Trump and Clinton there's just no way that people will vote for uh, Donald Trump at least not in a, you know in the sense that yeah he'll win certain states but he won't win the overall election in my in my view so with that being said, I'll end this video here for now. Thanks for watching, guys. And please, if you enjoy my content, hit that subscribe button below because it would really help me out so much. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Thanks for watching.